hello hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys in this video we wanna check raid and show when with the team kuki shinkyu nahida we gonna build a team aggravate and hard bloom team and we gonna test huta uh, bal with the proper energy recharge build with a little 138 elemental mastery here and the then we're gonna switch weapons and artifacts to see the full elemental elemental mastery build on raid and shogun and we're gonna test and see which build is better for raid and shogun if you wanna use your raid and shogun in harper bloom or aggravate team so like guys let's go okay first of all let me show you my build uh, this is my build 51 created here 181 crit damage 258 energy <laughs> recharge and i'm having 138 elemental mastery here of course i'm using the catch and here i'm using the four piece emblem this is a proper proper you know radiant shogun build with the perfect energy with the perfect crit damage and crit rate with the weapon and the artifacts here i'm using on cookie this is going to be my build, uh, 663 elemental mastery, little ratio here, and uh, using primordial jet character just for fun, and I'm using four piece killer dream. I'm not having my uh, 800 or 900 elemental ma mastery here because I'm using Nahida, and my Nahida is full elemental mastery build with 950 elemental mastery, and 4188 crit maintained, and then I'm using the weapon second visual here, the set piece are two piece, two piece, Shinkyu is four piece emblem with the second visual weapon, and little 100 elemental mastery here and the ratio is 51 186 196 energy recharge so guys let's go and let's see let's test this team the damage and then we're gonna switch the weapons to the elemental mastery weapon here elemental mastery artifacts here and then we're gonna test the team and see how much damage we can get uh, uh just to uh, make sure you guys that i'm having 138 uh, elemental mastery here and i'll gain another 240 elemental mastery from nahida's burst so 240 burst from uh, elemental mastery from here so it goes around uh, around around 200 380 elemental mastery here so 380 elemental mastery going to be here so we're gonna test the damage Uh, one thing I want to tell you, <laughs> you can definitely tweak uh, something, some hair, like you can also tweak this uh, build, like you can uh, go for the, uh, okay, just leave this open. You can just uh, tweak some hair, you can also give four piece deep put memory hair also, that would be uh, nice if you, if I switch to the weapons to the deep put memories, uh, the weapons are available to me, are very limited. I don't have any mental mastery here, then I don't have any. Uh, I can give this weapon, okay. <coughs> can go with this weapon, okay. How much? Something, something I have here, okay. I can definitely go for the crit weapon here, and then my elemental mastery is like this, and this, uh, all like this. And then I can go, <coughs> can go here, and I can switch the weapon here. Then I am having 828 here and this is look like this. So I can also do this and you can also go with this build. Little elemental mastery but the crit ratio is maintained well and you are using the 4 piece reboot memory. You can also do this but I like my Nahida more this way because I don't want any other character to be depend on the elemental mastery factor. So <coughs> ah, now it's good. So this is the ratio. So I like my uh, build more this way. Uh, 
rather the other way so now we'll switch the weapon here we can switch to any elemental mastery weapon which provide us the highest amount of elemental mastery we are not focusing on this passive ability just for now but i'm going for the highest elemental mastery weapon so i can get a better idea that how's the damage difference going to be so here i will we can also switch the artifact first of all already the elemental mastery is 358 here so if i switch to the weapons uh, to the artifacts here like i switch to the elemental mastery artifacts totally i can go with this uh, elemental mastery weapon i can <coughs> i cannot switch here because i don't think i have elemental mastery weapon uh, artifact here uh, one artifact i have it's on cookie uh, beside that i don't have any artifact okay leave it on attack percentage for now uh we can we can create a set piece also like a uh, gilded or uh, any other uh just i can just go for the two piece two piece to get the maximum elemental mastery so here i given <laughs> the offset i can give like this or maybe this i am having six twelve here and i have uh, okay, let's save it on there. We can I can also switch to the artifact here. Coding code. <coughs> it's going to be better. <coughs> so there is two piece here. Uh, okay, what we have here again. Okay, we can give this attack percentage here, but I need elemental mastery here. This be is gonna be a problem. Okay, we can switch to the uh, two-piece energy here because I don't have uh, that. Here. So already my uh, elemental mastery is comparatively very high. So if any uh, damage is going to be, uh, so we can uh, you know actually see in the we will actually see the damage effect. So crit rate uh, have no like no uh, majorly effect. 52 crit rate, 188 nine crit damage. It's almost the same that we are using with catch. But the catch we are having the passive perk here, 12% uh, rate and the 32 crit damage. But here I'm we're not having any perk uh, definitely the uh, any more uh, the opponent is going to be affected by hydro because we are using shinku uh, but i don't think that's if that's like that uh, things gonna work so uh times are on same max <laughs> no cons and the weapon using dragon's brain the artifacts look like this for now so let's let's see the damage Shine 
Okay, guys, uh, you've seen you have seen the damage differences. I also shown you the per tick damage, the per dendro tick damage. That's also high in the energy build. Uh, if you're having the, like 250 energy recharge, and ha uh, on the same time you're having 400 elemental mastery, 250 you're gaining from uh, uh, Nahida's burst, and 150 you're gaining from the artifacts. So that's equals to 400 and if you are having 400 elemental mastery with the 250 energy recharge i think that will be better and if you're using catch of course and then if you if you're having like 800 elemental mastery with 150 energy recharge i guess that's not gonna be that insane but the damage differences are like almost the same not very big difference but uh, uh, energy recharge wins at the end if you're having high energy recharge around 250 and having 400 element mastery at the same time i think that's gonna be better better in any way so yes guys thank you for watching uh, i'm definitely definitely want to know what's your opinion about the em raiding shogun or the uh, full energy uh, uh, nahida like i ha i didn't have didn't use any uh, artifact sets on raiding shogun like there's no proper four piece artifact sets on em build uh, i don't know if you go with thundering fury four piece or the four piece gilded or the low spare lost pair four piece uh, you, might you have the damage differences and might your ball will deal higher damage i don't know because i don't have oh, the artifact oh, for the four scared. piece gilded or the four I'm piece deep put or sorry four piece uh, oh, lost pair but uh, if you're having like uh, on the strat on the basis of uh, only em and energy i think the fight gonna wins uh, with the e energy if you're having like 250 energy and 400 elemental mastery that will be very insane on Raiden shogun so yes that's it for the video if you think uh, something is wrong in the video i didn't show it correctly you can all anytime correct me in the comments and like this video share with your friends and guys we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye